if you have any questions about any other therapies. And we're going to go over some therapies now. What's going on, Big Irishman? I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, man. Uh, but all right, I appreciate it, man. This, I'm going to hook it up. When I get some new Titan gear or a hat, if you want one, let me know. Real Jay Moy, what's going on? JV, uh, Peruvian. All right, so here we go. Let's talk about MK677, Ibutamorin. So this is a peptide, an oral peptide, a GHRH. So a lot of people, you know, I talk to them, like out and about, um, you know, that might not be into anything like this. You know, it always gets brought up about growth hormone. John, what do you think about growth hormone? And I tell them, I said, listen, growth hormone is pretty good, but it's very expensive and there can be some negative side effects to it. Um, you know, and I say, listen, there's some other different substitutes out there or alternatives to growth hormone. And this is one of them, right? There's a couple out there, but this is definitely one of them. And where MK677 really, really stands out is, is it's an oral therapy where growth hormone has to be injected. CJC with Imperellin has to be injected. Semerellin has to be injected. And this is an oral therapy. And it's a growth hormone releasing hormone peptide therapy. So what does that mean to you? That means that, you know, you don't have to stick a needle and you don't have to pin it every day. You can take it orally. It's in a capsule form. And what it's going to do is it's going to stimulate your own pituitary. It's going to stimulate your own pituitary to produce your own growth hormone. And at that point, it's going to go out to the liver and it's going to convert to IGF-1. With this, this is where you get all the great benefits of growth hormone, right? Um, because your body's producing its own natural growth hormone, it's going down and producing in the liver to IGF-1. And that's really where you get all the big benefits of growth hormone from. So this is a great alternative to people that want to take growth hormone. Um, it's great for raising IGF-1 levels. It's great for hair, skin, nails, anti-aging purposes. Um, it's also great for strength. And it's also great for putting on lean mass. The reason. The reason is, is because it's going to stimulate your hunger hormone, g relin hormone. So at that point, you're going to get really hungry when you take this. Now, you know, certain people are recommended to take this and certain people are recommended to take maybe CJC-1295 with Imperellum. Differences is... When you take this, it's going to make you hungry. So unless you take it right before bed, and that's what I tell people to do, and I know that's what the providers tell people what to do, is um, take it right before, literally, before you're going to pass out and go to sleep. At that point, what's going to happen is, is you know, you're not going to get that hunger spike, and you're not going to eat everything in the house, right? But if you're having trouble eating, you can take this, you know, a little bit earlier and then get down those meals, so it will help in that instance. And some people are in that boat where they can't eat enough calories to really gain some lean muscle mass. They're burning through them real quick. And that's not a bad problem, but it is, you know, to that person, they, they think that, you know, they don't want to be like that. They want to gain more lean mass. And then you got people that are really overweight that want to burn all this, right, and want to burn through those calories like that. So... This is one of those good therapies. It should help with sleep patterns too as well. So at that point, you're gonna get a lot of bang for the buck as far as what you're gonna get with MK677. Um, like I said, you gotta make sure that you're gonna eat clean with this and you gotta make sure that you're prepared to a certain extent. Um, not just taking it in the middle of the day and going into your house and have none to eat, but cereal and Twinkies and whatever sugar, sugary processed carbohydrates because you're going to eat them all down. And then that's not going to do good for your, your it's not going to, you know, I mean, your body will utilize some of it, right? Um, because your IGF-1 levels are so high too as well. I mean, but it's not going to be good, right? You're going to gain possibly some water weight on there and you don't want any bad weight. The whole point of this is to be healthy and to gain lean quality tissue. So that doesn't mean you're going to gain 20 or 30 pounds, but you want to put on a couple good pounds of lean quality tissue. You're only gonna gain so much in a year, right? So at that point, like, I don't care what anybody says, like, oh, you're gonna take like this and you're gonna gain 40 pounds in three months. Uh, come on, guys, right, we gotta be realistic about things too, all right? Scott said, I'm 63, brother. My body doesn't produce anything. No problem, Scott, we got you, dude. If you need help, we could possibly help you out, man, and, and get you back on track so your body is Rolling like a well-tuned race car. That's what we want it to be, right? We want that thing to be tested and tuned and performed. So Manhattan 7 said, how about the potential for prostate growth in older guys? 
So prostate growth, fitness DMK, what's going on? Um, so prostate growth, that's another, that's a good question for real. Um, now prostate growth can happen into anybody and this doesn't have to be because of, let's say testosterone or, you know, growth hormone or whatever it is. Now, if you have cancerous cells or bad cells in the body, growth hormone and any like peptide that's going to increase growth hormone or cells in the body could be a negative bad thing for you, right? You don't want to be growing bad cells in your body and stuff like that because ultimately that's, you know, what's going to be worse for you. If it's cancer, it's going to, it's going to, you know, expedite that cancer, right? It's going to grow quickly and we don't want that at all. We want you guys to be healthy. Like I said, health is number one. It's our number one priority. So at that point, I don't care, you know, I mean, I want you to look good, but I'd rather have you look good on the inside and at least feeling good, right? Um, then aesthetically, I mean, that's what it's all about. You got to feel good to get out of bed, go to work, have a relationship, do your hobbies, whatever it is, you know, I mean, that's, that's number one goal. So, and, but after that, if, if you're, listen, if you're feeling good and looking good on the inside, the outside is going to reflect to a certain extent. Um, and then you can really, really work on that too as well. So that's what it's all about. Scott called Titan right away. I love it, Big Irish, my man. Troy Holland, Ohio Strength Addicts. What's up, dude? How you doing? I appreciate it. Danielle, what's going on? No, Jill, Juggler, uh, Michelle, what's going on? All right, so how good is Adipax for weight loss? All right. Um, so, Scott, first, does, what, um, I'm trying to think, what do you say is coming out of you? So, MK677 comes in milligrams. It's oral. So, usually, starting dose is anywhere from 12.5 milligrams to 25 milligrams. Um, daily is what they usually prescribe the providers. Um, other than that, IU wise, you, you know, you're talking more. That's more like growth hormone when you when you do IUs. Um, and then if it was CJC twelve ninety five, you're talking about like micrograms. Okay. All right. So how good is Adipax for weight loss? So Adipax, I don't think is a good solution for weight loss. So we don't think it's a good solution for weight loss here at Titan Medical Center. So the reason why it's almost like a methamphetamine. And it's supposed to be for appetite suppressant, right? So once you take it, and you know, let's put the, the, the brakes on first, it can cause long-term problems, health issues, right? Cardiovascular issues. That's why you're usually supposed to get an EKG when you're getting this medication. Um, it can cause nervous system issues. Uh, and it's not made for long-term use, right? So people go on it. And when they go on it, the reason they're supposed to go on it is because it's supposed to curb their appetite so they can, one, not eat as much, two, they can pick better food sources than what they're eating. And this never usually happens right. They'll go on it, they'll be on it, they'll like get a little jittery, they'll lose a little bit of weight, and then they'll stay on it. And what happens is they build up a tolerance to it, and then they take it, it doesn't have any effect. It just gets them by now at that point because they built up a tolerance. So at that you know at that juncture, like it's really not that good. It, it's not a really good long term solution. And uh, I, I think it's good for some people out there that m might need it in extreme circumstances, but I don't think it's a good solution for a lot of different people for the masses. That's where ECA Stack Plus comes in. Energy focus. You know it's going to curb some of the appetite, and at that point, um, it's going to help you burn fat. That's where Adipax loses too. So Adipax is not made to burn fat, right? It's made for an appetite suppressant. So that's what it's good for. And that's what the FDA approved it for, not to burn fat. Now, appetite suppressant, you're not eating as many calories and stuff like that. That's weight loss. So, I mean, that, that's where that weight loss effect, I guess, comes into play, but not itself, not, you know, helping raise core temperature and, and to get rid of the adipose tissue, right? So good question though. I love it. I love the questions. Um, MK677, Big Irishman, highly recommend if you're looking to gain lots of lean muscle mass and drop body fat. It's definitely going. Ange Tusa, what's going on, girl? How you doing? Thank you so much. Ange got a badge. I appreciate all you guys that do support with the badges. Um, you know, a little bit goes a long way. I appreciate it. Instagram recognizes that and actually boosts our stuff. So that's good. Yes, it, it can accelerate cancers. Yes, for sure. Some of these these different, um, you know, GHRHs, growth releasing hormones, 
um, peptides, you know, some of these things can be very negative. This is why you're supposed to have a medical professional looking over everything that you guys are doing um, and making sure that this could be the right treatment for you. And, you know, there's not something that's going to hurt you or take away from your health. That's the number one thing. All right. What up? How you doing, guys? Savarelli, what's up, bro? All right. Uh, fresh type. How good or bad is Adipex for weight loss? So I can't kind of answer this question. I don't think it's that good for weight loss. Um, I think that it'll curb your appetite um, 30 days. You might get a little jittery from that. At that point, you might lose some pounds. But I don't think it's going to be good going forth two, three, four months into it and without you plateauing. Um, or really getting really good results. And like I said, there's negative effects to taking Adipex or Phenomene, um, you know, for long extended periods of time or even for short times. Um, so just watch out for that. All right, so Anne's asked a question. Hey, Curious, do the ACG, do I do the ACG every day? Should I mix it up and do five days or every day to maximize my weight loss goals? All right, so I would do every day. That's personally me. And when I did the, the ACG program, the reason people usually do it five days, I've seen that out there. It's kind of like to, I guess, lengthen the treatment of, of ACG. Um, I don't. I think that you on it every day, and I think it really going to a calorie deficit. I think that's going to work. And we're going to talk about weight loss today because, um, you know, basically right now there's a, there's a big thing out there and. You've got all these big health experts, and they're going against maybe they're going with two models per se, right? And we're going to talk about these models and kind of where they're at. Okay, it's really cool stuff though. Um, sad. What's going on? Box World TRT therapy. What do you guys use? Sip, Prope, and Enthate. Can the customer choose? So we have Sip, we have Prope, we have an Enthate, we have Sip, Prope, and, um, and then we have Sip, Prope, and an Enthate. So we have all different varieties as far as blends of testosterone for our patients from these different pharmacies. Um, and yes, most likely, I mean, you know, if the patient doesn't know what, what this stuff is, like as far as esters and blends and stuff like that, you know, we usually recommend the, the ester or blend to start them off with. Usually it's Cipionate. Um, that's the most commonly used one out there, but um, we have all the different blends. So if somebody says, listen, you know, I've done well with Cipro before. I've done well with Anthe before. Like, I'd really want to do that one. Not a problem. We can help that out for sure. Um, we do do HRT for sure, 100% for for out there, Scott. Uh, Kathy, what's going on? Uh, fresh time. So what's a good, good solution to burn fat efficiently? So ECA Stack Plus, I'm telling you, you're going to love this one as far as the therapy. Um, you also got AOD 9604, which is a good one. It's a peptide, but the ECAs are going to give you energy. They're going to they're going to give you more focus, and they're going to help you burn fat, no matter if you're sitting at a desk or not. Okay. Um, we don't take insurance. Everything is out of pocket. Brian, what's going on? Thank you. I appreciate you getting a badge too as well. Dwayne Day, what's going on? Hey John, tell me a little bit about Superman's. All right, we do video visits, Scott. Yes, we do. By the way, Ann said, I'm loving Prometheus. I thought you would. I'm really, really happy. Hopefully, we're moving in that direction that we want to go. We want to get you there. Thank you, Kim. Kim Haynes in the house. I really appreciate it. Uh, my girlfriend got Adderall. I had to throw it away. She wouldn't shut up. <laughs> yeah, that'll do that. And I don't recommend Adderall either. There's a lot of people out there that, you know, they, they want to do Adderall and stuff like that. So they think that this is going to give me weight loss. And, you know, when you take that stuff, it's like another, it's like a methamphetamine type deal, right? It's an amphetamine. Um, and it's going to make you real jittery, and you and you think that's good. You're like, all right, if I feel like this, then I'm like, I'm speeding, so I'm burning fat. You know, I'm burning through these calories like crazy, and I feel like it too. I feel like a pinball. I'm just boom, 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 boom. Um, that's not really the way you should feel. And that's not healthy, okay? And Adderall is not a good way, you know, to really lose weight. You know, you have that amphetamine type deal, but that's going to wear off too after so long. All right, uh, all boss went for a while. Chris, what's up, dude? How you doing? All right, and then let's go to Dwayne Day's question here. All right, so tell me a little bit about Superman. So let's talk about Superman's real quick. If you guys don't know, we're going to tell you right now. All right, so Superman. So we have Superman's we offer our patients, right? And Superman's are sildenafil and or um, we have sildenafil with micronized testosterone in them. 
So we have our sildenafil, which is just, you know, it's like Viagra. It's in a troche or troche, or it's wrapped in a Zoll tablet. I mean, we've got all different types of forms of transportation for it. But that's what a Superman is. So it's either sildenafil, or if you're on HRT with us, or on HRT with a prescribed provider, and you can provide that proof, then we can, we can um, prescribe sildenafil and micronized testosterone. So it's really cool. And people ask me, like, John, why would you do that? Okay, and why? Okay, so I'm like, all right, this is the reason why we came up with this because usually it's an older dude, right, or older guy possibly, and or even a younger guy, and they have a girlfriend, and the girlfriend likes to go multiple times, and at that point, you know, they might lose a little stamina after the first round, right? They're giving it their all, so this is why. So, so Denafil is going to make you like a champion. And then the micronized testosterone, what that's going to do is, is that's going to give you more stamina. So to give you a little bit more energy and a little bit more, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, yeah, it's, it's going to make you feel like a superhero in the bedroom, right? So at that point, that's why we call it Supermans. Now we have Wonder Woman's too as well. That's a female version of this. Um, and then we have Iron Man's. So Iron Man's are sildenafil and arginine. That is the maximum blood flow you're going to get, right? So um, that's going to make you feel like Iron Man, and it's, it's, I don't think it's going to go down, okay? So for a while, anyway. If you got, you got, some, you got some time. So as long as you want it up, it's going to go up, all right? Uh, Ange Tusa said, I was on Adderall. I hated it. I have more focus with my Titan therapies than I ever did on Adderall. All, also, all my therapies have no stimulants. That's really where it's at. And this is so true that Ange brings this up. Um, so Adderall, really bad. It's going to make you jittery. It, 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 if you don't need it, and a lot of people get like overdosed on it, then it's just the opposite effect of focus, right? You can't focus. Um, and that just really sucks. And even with this, Ams doesn't take any stimulants to us. So even the ECA Stack Plus, which I would love her to take because I think she's going to really, really go to the moon with this um, as far as hitting her goal. But listen, she doesn't feel good with that. So that's okay, too. And that's where, you know, these other therapies with no stimulants really come into play. Prometheus, um, AOD9604. She's doing ACG, but not at 500 calories. We're doing, a you know, a, a calorie deficit, but not that extreme because I just don't think that's healthy. I, I, our providers, like, you know, 500 calories, I know some people can do it out there. I've done it. And it's, I wasn't the happy camper. I'm just being honest with you. And it's not, not happy for me at all. And I think our body needs a little bit more than that. Greetings from Venezuela. What's going on, Edgar? That's very, very cool. Hi from Russia. Man, that's awesome. Are you a champion? Absolutely. Absolutely. Test suspension. So test suspension, I mean, we don't do test suspension, obviously. Um, that's just something that you don't see in the medical world at all. Oh, uh, you got a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your your sis number? No, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Goodbye. All right. So what else we got here? All right. All right. Guys, I got more leggings coming in too for your females out there. Guys, I got some more stuff coming in too as well. All right. So fresh job. So I am or sub Q for test therapy. So for this, I would I'm honestly intermuscular. Um, you know, I like I am. All our patients we usually have prescribed as I am. Now, with some patients, they like to do sub-Q. If you want to do sub-Q, you can do sub-Q. But I'm just being honest with you. The oil's not supposed to go subcutaneously under your skin. And I tried this because we got some patients asking about it. So, you know, and this is a couple of years ago when this first came out and everybody's, oh, this is the new thing. And I'm like, all right, so let me try this subcutaneous testosterone for a couple days. Let me see how I do about it. I'm a pin cushion. I'm the lab rat. I'm patient zero. So let me see how it works. So, you know, I stuck it. I'm like, all right, this, this kind of sucks. And because I injected sub Q, and I'm, I'm pretty good about injections, guys. Uh, and at that point, it, it irritates it, makes it a little itchy, and it can bruise the area, um, and it makes it a little red. It's not supposed to be there. Oil is not supposed to be there. And it's not supposed to be getting broken down subcutaneous. But I tried it. I don't think it's a really good thing. Some people want to pin it daily or every other day and stuff like that. Why? Do yourself an intermuscular injection twice a week. That's the best thing you can possibly do. You go up. You stay up. You stay there. Um, you know, just it is what it is. So at that point, I would definitely recommend IM to anybody that asks me. All right. What's going on? Website. 
www.tightmedicalcenter.com. Um, before we go on any further, guys, wherever you're at in the country, except for Ohio and Idaho, we can service you guys nationwide with any of our services. Hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, injectable vitamin amino acid blends that only Titan Medical Center has, like Hercules Potion, Titan Complete, Titan Ultra, Titan Serenity, and so on. Peptides, MK677, healing peptides, BPC157, TB500, weight loss peptides, AOD9604, rejuvenation detox with glutathione, that's another big one, libido enhancers, males, females, we got your back there, all you guys, blood work, nationwide, we can send you in anywhere in the country, right, except for Ohio and Idaho, and at that point, Anything you guys need as far as that goes, we can do a medical consult via FaceTime or Skype, and the U.S. licensed pharmacy ships directly to your doorstep. So it's very simple, very easy. All you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220, all right? Can someone that has had a blood clot in the past take TRT if they are healthy? This is a case-by-case -case scenario, and it really is up to the provider if they feel comfortable doing this. Usually, providers don't want to do this because you've already been, you've already had a blood clot, right? So what happens is, is that if you already had one, you're more prone to have another one. It is what it is. So doctors are a little weary about it. Some will want, um, they want a, a letter being signed off by a specialist, uh, you know, saying that it's okay for you to get on TRT or HRT. It's a case-by-case -case scenario, so it really is up to the provider of who's taking care of you or who's looking at your chart, what exactly the situation was or scenario, where the blood clot was, right? Was it in your was it in your calf? Was it by your heart? I mean, these are some, some questions they're going to ask you, and that's why, again, that's what I'm saying. You want somebody that really knows, a provider, what they're looking at. Health history, have they seen these things before? How do they prescribe doing this? Are they monitoring you correctly? Guys, it's so scary out there, knowing what I know and been in this business so long and seeing some of these fly by night or new places pop up and only wanting bare bones on testing. They don't want you to test, but every year, this is scary, guys. In a year, you know what can happen on TRT or HRT in a year? You can have blood clots, you can have strokes, DVTs, you could also have high estrogen levels you're going on and you don't look aesthetically good, you don't feel really good. Uh, these are a lot of different problems out there that I'm seeing, especially lately. It's really, really bad out there. So make sure that you're going with somebody that's credible, um, that knows what they're talking about, that's been doing this a long time, has a lot of results they can show you, um, and you feel comfortable with. That. That's the best thing. And that's going to be there for you. Um, like us, we call, text, email, every day, all day. That's what it's all about. I, am, I try to be as honest as possible. I, I appreciate it. In, in this business, I, I would agree with you. There's not too many people out there like that. Um, for us, that was the big thing. That's why I got into it, and that's why me and Sharice wanted to do it, because we seen what was going on, and this was 10 years ago, and it's gotten a lot worse. Don't, don't get me wrong, but it was bad then. It was really bad. It was more more back alley type things were going on and stuff like that, which was not good. So that's why we try to bring this to light, be transparent, and give our patients first class service and first class therapies, right? We want to take care of them, make sure they're not just a number. That's what it's all about, man. Uh, Lona, what's going on? Uh, Riff, man, we got all kinds of people in here. Hey, what's going on? All over the place, Argentina. Argentina, wow, wow. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you guys all tuning in. Fitness DMK, thank you for your badge. I appreciate you guys. Uh, Joe, I'm doing great. Dwayne Day say, hey, John, I switched over completely with Titan Medical. Oh, finally. That's all right, though. I'm, hey, listen, better late than never, Dwayne, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. If you're happy, I'm happy, and I want to make sure that you're good to go all the time, man. I try to, you know, especially you guys that tune in every week for me, man, I really try to take care of you guys. Um, even for the newbies out there, listen, if you guys are a part of the Titan family, you're Titan family. If you're getting involved with this, I really appreciate supporting. Even if you're not a patient or don't want to be a patient, listen, if you want to support by a shirt or whatever it is, I appreciate all that, man. You guys can be part of the Titan family just by doing that too as well. All right? So from Morocco, wow, we're getting Morocco in here. This is awesome. This is really, really cool, man. Uh, I appreciate all you guys out there. The Olympia is going to be a battle of Middle East between Big Grammy and Hadik Chupin. 
Yes, yeah, so it's going to be crazy. Olympia's coming up in two weeks. If you guys are in the area, Suzar, I, I appreciate you providing a badge. Thank you guys so much. Um, so, yeah, so Olympia's going to be crazy. That's in, like, three weeks. Um, it's going to be crazy. We're going to be talking about it more and more and more on here. If you guys are going to come to Olympia, booth 404, we're right in the entry, right when you walk in. We've got, like, one of the premier spots, one of the top sponsors for Olympia this year. So really proud of that, too, as well. Uh, Jay Monty, first time TRT patient looking for a place I can trust. I appreciate your videos. Jay Monty, I appreciate that too, man. Thank you. Um, listen, whatever we can do or any questions you have, we're here for you. And like I said, it's all about the support and monitoring you too is making sure everything's good. Um, you know, your health, it, you only get one chance at that, right? And it's not a TV somebody selling you or a service like that. It's your health, right? And you want to make sure that somebody is really taking care of you out there. So just remember that, all right? Um, and I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I'll, I'll keep making the videos for you, not a problem. All right, so let's talk about the first um, subject today. Because Jersey in the house. What's up, Jersey? What's going on, man? You bought a badge, too. I know. Thank you. I appreciate your, you guys buying a badge. Um, Suarezo, Suarezo, I'll tell you what. You're a new guy on here. I mean, I haven't seen you on here too much. Um, I'll give you a free shirt, man. You get a free uh, Titan T-shirt if you call or text. Just text 727-389-3220. It's our main number. Say, John said he'll give me a shirt. I'll send you out a shirt. Just give me your size and address. All right? Um, so let's talk about the first topic of the day. Because this is really cool. And this goes right along kind of what we're talking about here. Um, I, th I thought it was really interesting. I think you guys will find it very interesting. And it's a topic that comes up all the time. Um, and it's something that we have not mastered. I think we've almost mastered it to a degree. But society in general has not mastered this yet. And it's a problem, right? It's becoming a big problem. And we're talking about weight gain, obesity, and weight loss. So the big thing right now is is obesity, right? Um, we have went up every decade, for five decades, in obese people out there, overweight people. So with this comes a lot of different issues, like health problems, okay? You know, we have cardiovascular problems or heart disease. We have diabetes out there which is on the rise uh like crazy you know you have people on cholesterol medications and all these different things which causes all the negative side effects to what's going on in their body so we have a lot of different things out there that are causing obesity right and the big question the main question is how do i lose weight that's a good question right and the majority of the answers a physician is going to give you, because physicians are not nutritionists, they're not dietitians. They don't know about supplementation, right? They know about medicine, right? And if it's broke, we're gonna fix it. So the answer, the answer what they're gonna give you is, is this. And this is the main answer out there. You need to stop eating as, as much as you are. Less calories in, right? At that point, you're gonna burn more calories and you're gonna lose weight. That is the main answer to that question if you go into a physician. I had one physician say, because uh, they was like, no, 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 like, what do I do, All right? The, the, the person, like, what? no, no, I understand the cat. What do I do? And the doctor didn't know anything about nutrition or anything. And I heard him say this. He said, just uh, eat soup slowly. I go, I, I talked to the doctor afterwards. I go, did you tell that person to eat soup slowly? Because that's going to lose weight? I said, yeah, you know, they're not going to eat that many calories. They're going to fill up faster. I go, I go. Oh, I don't know if that's the best advice, but whatever, I guess, you know. And, you know, that, that person, you know, probably didn't get the, the weight loss that they wanted to by eating soup slowly. Or they probably binged on other food later. I have no idea. So let's talk about these two models out there. So you've got two models of, of what's going on out there. You've got the energy balance model, and then you have the carbohydrate insulin model, right? So you have the EBM, the CIM, that's what they call them. So the energy balancing model and the carbohydrate insulin model. Let's talk about these. So the EBM, the energy balancing model, right? So this is what we just talked about. Calories in, Calories out. It doesn't matter what food you eat. Calories in, calories out. You eat less calories, you're going to burn more calories, you're going to lose weight. Okay? Great concept if we all had the exact same good foods. But the problem is, is that we're eating more refined carbohydrates 
and sugary processed foods than ever. That's the majority of food sources out there. When you go to pretty much any gas station you go to or supermarket and you see things on the shelves and they're on the shelves and they have, they have shelf lives for one month, three months, four months, a year I seen in bread, a year in bread. I'm like what the hell are they putting in this bread to last for a year? You know, my dad brought home one of these loaves and I swear it was for a year. Uh, and I was like, and he's like, look, look at the ingredients. There's nothing in the background. There's nothing bad. I'm like, listen, I don't care what this thing says. Like, you bake bread, right? And you let the bread sit out. It's going to get moldy in like, what, six, seven days. You buy bread from the supermarket. It's going to get moldy. Even if it's it has refined, like, white flour, like, you know, you, you have your Wonder Bread, you know, the white Wonder Bread. You know, even if it's like that, it's still going to get moldy. It's still going to degrade, right? So... When you see these things out there, this is what a lot of our people are eating, especially kids. Uh, you know, the food sources, what they have, because this is what's in front of them. It's not like they're getting choices to eat home-cooked meals or, you know, freshly cooked meals. So at that point, this is the problem with EBM, um, energy balancing model, right? It's because the calorie in and calorie out thing, I think, is, is right to a certain extent. I, I take that portion. But not all food is created equal. And when I talk about this, think about me eating a steak or um, something that has carbohydrates because steaks really don't have carbohydrates in it. But think about eating a steak and then think about eating chicken nuggets, okay? Now, both probably have protein, but definitely not the same kind of food, right? So this is the problem. Um, I'll talk about SARMs in a second. One second. Um, LSJ, no problem. So... This is the issue with EBM. Calories in, calories out, I think works, but all not all food is not created equal. So if you're eating really good food, that might be a good way to play it. Now, the carbohydrate insulin model. So this means that, you know, um, what they're saying is, is that it really doesn't matter about calories in, calories out. It really matters about the quality of the food. And this makes sense too, because they're saying that if you eat refined sugars or starchy uh, foods, right? Um, at that point, what's going to happen is, is these ha have high glycemic index ratings. And what happens with the high glycemic index ratings is this, is that your, your body, right, uh, it feels full, but it doesn't get full for a whole, like an hour, you're, you're hungry again, right? And with the high glycemic index, it spikes blood sugar levels. Um, and at that point, you're going to have some issues, right? It, it stays like that. You don't want high spike blood sugar levels. And in Two hours, you're going to be hungry again, and then you're going to try to binge eat, and this creates a whole bunch of other problems. So that's kind of the issue with that, right? The the calorie insulin model, um, but it makes sense because if you're eating horrible foods like that, you're going to have problems. Um, and it's going to cause spikes in blood sugar, so and this could cause issues, and this has caused diabetes type two and all these other different possible diseases out there. So, you know, I looked at both of these, really, really cool. So I take a little bit from both, right? Where Calories in, calories out works, but from the calorie insulin model, I want to make sure that I'm eating good carbohydrates or non-sugary processed foods. And, you know, the other one is this. The other one is that basically, um, hold on one second. Okay. So foods that have no carbohydrates, because this was a good question for me um, by somebody, because they were going to ask me this, so I said, you don't want to make it this anyway. So meat, fish, eggs, cheese, butter, oils, water, and plain coffee or tea. So those are just some of the different ones. Somebody asked me that today. They're like, I have no idea about my diet and stuff like that. I'm like, well, you can look some different things up, like, you know, what's a good carbohydrate to eat? And you're probably going to find some different things out there. Google has a lot of good resources. you got to know what you're looking for, though, all right? All right, so that's pretty cool. So EBM energy balancing model, right? Calories in, calories out, and CIM, carbohydrate insulin model. So at that point, look them up, check it out, and uh, I think, you know, that's the secret. Great, good food sources, calories in and calories out, and then knowing where you're at with those calories. All right, so LZJ, all right, so should we avoid SARMs? So this is what I think about SARMs. I don't like SARMs. Um, I like the concept of SARMs, Select androgen receptor modulators, very, very cool in theory. Uh, not even theory, to a certain extent of how they work. Um, and I think, you know, they can work. 
But I think on the other side of what you're going to get, you're not going to get more benefits than negatives out of it. And what do I mean by that? So liver toxicity is crazy on SARMs. I've seen people come through here, and man, I'm telling you, it's not good. The other thing is, is that these natural guys or natural guys out there think, all right, you know what? I don't want to take testosterone. I don't want to take steroids. But I'll take SARMs because SARMs aren't steroids. And the problem is, is that when they take SARMs, yeah, they'll get the liver toxicity. That's one. I mean, you can majority fix that or balance that, right, or prevent that. But the second thing is, is that their natural function gets shut down. You might as well took testosterone because that's exactly what happens. Um, if you stop tests, you're going to crash. If you stop SARMs, you're going to crash. Um, those those SARMs are fighting. Those you know the androgen receptors are trying to get in there, right? And that's what they do. So at that point, your body's going to recognize this to a certain degree, and that's when you're going to shut down. So it's not good. Sexy baby, 2180. I'm doing great. How about yourself? <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Um, yeah, keyboard gangster, he's out of here. Uh, I said his ass packing. I him he should pay attention, though. When we're talking about yeah. obesity, he might need some help. Absolutely. Boy. All right, so Fitness DMK. I struggle to eat my protein with spinach, green, and other veggies. I'm trying to eat every two to three hours, but it takes me an hour to eat a dry salad or with ACV on it only. Okay, so little tips for you here. All right, so what I do is, is listen, I'll, I'll kill that protein, right? And honestly, Fitness DMK, like, I know you're trying to cut, right? So, you know, you could cut, you could cut out the vegetables if you're having problems eating it, man. If you can fill up, right? Because that's the other thing about salads. Like, it helps, it helps fill up your stomach so you're not feeling hungry. Sure. And, 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 but the, it's, it's, I mean, it's zero calories, like, type thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's empty calories almost. But I, listen, I like to eat a salad. And what I would do is I would splash some water on it and eat it down. Not dump a whole bunch of water and have water in the bottom of it, but sprinkle it with water so it's like kind of lubricated and I just eat it down. Now I eat, if I eat salads, it's plain salads. Just the lettuce and I'll eat it down like, you know, and I don't even do that much anymore, but if I'm by the pool or something like that, I'll get chicken breasts and I'll get I'll get some lettuce um, and then I'll eat them both. So that's what I do. But I put them on separate plates and eat them, right? My hand, Mahani, what's going on? Oh, man, she's getting excited about all these things we're talking about here. Uh, Maria, what's going on? How you doing? I got all these people. They're trying to video request getting on. I'm scared of what they'd be showing us on the other end. Right? 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes, man. We got good three to four salads a day, and sometimes I'm still starving. Eight to 12-ounce chicken breast. All right, so. Hmm. That's the only good thing about the, the vegetables. They're probably going to help you fill up. You know, let me think about this, Fizz DMK. But, you know, I mean, and as far as beef-wise, you're not good with that? Or is it, is it not good? Like, you get bloating? Or just let me know on that because that might be a substitute for one of your meals, you know? Just add that in there because that will make, make you a little bit more fuller. But some people, they, they can't process it that good, so I understand that too. All right. All right, so next one. Tampa General CEO slams the Biden administration over coronavirus restriction on their treatments. So let's explain this one to you guys. If you guys don't know what's going on here in Florida. So the Tampa General, which is the main hospital here in Tampa, right? it's like the place. Um, CEO got on basically because what happened was, was here in Florida, uh, our governor, you know, obviously has had problems with our president. Um, they've had some friction. And at that point, it's been over this vaccine thing or treatments or whatever it may be. So our governor, obviously, Florida was spiking for a while, up the monoclonal, mono, monoclonal cocktails. And at that point, was given to a lot of patients. And it's helping patients like crazy. I know for a fact, because I know three people that had COVID, real bad, real sick, went in for this cocktail and literally, like three or four hours later, they called me up and said, John, I feel like a million bucks, man. This thing really works. And I was like, that the first one, I was like, oh, maybe they didn't have it that bad, right? Second, I was like, mm. third, I was like, damn, I was like, this thing really works. So we've been using a lot here in Florida, like a lot. And basically what happened was, was our president went on and said that he was going to restrict Florida in the supply chain. So this is really wrong. There's not a shortage of this this cocktail out there, these antibody cocktails. 
Um, and I think it's more of a punishment. And it's not punishing the governor. It's punishing the people. So at that point, I think this is really, really crazy. Um, so the CEO of this hospital, because most of hospitals are privately owned now, and at that point he got up there and just is what it is. Uh, Fitness DMK said, I eat plenty of beef too. I just can't cook beef and use it all week like I do with chicken. I feel you on that. Uh, I cook beef two times a week. So I usually cook 12 steaks at a time. Uh, eat two in the morning, two at nine or one and a half at least. So I hear you for that. I hear you. I got money saved up now for that reason, speaking of which. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can't wait, dude. Uh, shout out what's going on. So, yeah, this is really, really crazy. This is going to hurt Floridians. Um, it's going to hurt people. It has nothing to do with politics, and I think politics should stay out of things, uh, especially when it comes to people's health. So this is really crazy how things are going to go. Hopefully it gets a lot better, or we get these cocktails, antibody cocktails, back without restriction. Why are they restricting things that they don't have a low supply on? That makes no sense. Um, okay, all right, so let's go to the Titan Weekly News Poll. All right, so the news poll says, have you ever tried peptide therapies or ever used? 48% said yes. Well, that's a lot of people. 37% said no. That's a lot of people too. Uh, I thought about it and I would like to know more. That's 6%. I'm taking them now at 6%. Okay, so majority of people then have know about them and have taken peptide therapies. Great choices. The you know, therapies have definitely changed the game. And a number of different things, like I said, from healing to weight loss, um, you know, to weight gain and, and anti-aging. There's a lot of different things that these peptides have definitely done and definitely changed the game on. So I'm really, really happy that peptides are out there. They're cutting edge. And I think there's more and more that are going to be released here in the future. Um, and we'll be taking advantage of it as soon as we can from the pharmacies. I promise you guys. That's what I want to do. I want to make sure you guys are getting cutting edge therapies and not restricted in what's going on out there. It's just really crazy. So 48% of you said yes, and then 6% said I'm more to use them now. The other 6%, if you want to know more about peptides, call or text 727-389-3220. All right, and then if you haven't or no, you might want to look into these different peptides for a number of different reasons. What up, Stacy? I can't wait to be seeing you in three weeks, girl. Olympia Titans will be there in full effect, guys. October 7th through the 9th. We're leaving the 10th. I know they added to the 10th, but we're out of there Sunday morning. We're out of there for sure. But it's going to be good. It's definitely going to be a good time for sure. So I hope to see some of you guys out there. We're going to do tons of giveaways. Um, we're going to have tons of pictures, tons of content being taken. So I'd really like to see all you guys out there, hopefully. All right. Upcoming events. Olympia, like we just talked about. Uh... 2021, October 7th. Here it is. Make sure you guys are there. October 13th, the Tampa International Airport Annual Employee Health and Wellness Event. This is a great event. Love helping the people that work at Tampa International Airport. Um, you know, went through a lot of trials and tribulations this year and still are with COVID and all that, and traveling and all this garbage. So it's going to be a great, great give back to some of these guys. Uh, free B12 shots hopefully will be going on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Fitness DMK, yes, Olympia is in Orlando this year. Um, it's moved from Vegas. They moved it last year, and they liked it so much. They're like, you know what, we're going to keep it here. Uh, we've got tons of different things coming on for that, so it's going to be awesome. I'll be at Disney the same weekend. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, maybe we can get up, you know, and at least say hi or whatever and get to meet, whatever it is. You let me know. I don't want to take away from your Disney time either, right? Um, so it'll be really, really cool, all right? Uh, October 23rd, Tim Gardner's NBC Hurricane Bay right here in Pinellas will be there in full effect. It's going to be another great show, great competitors, and a lot of Titans and a lot of Titan giveaways. Oh, yeah, Eric Navarro in the house. What's up, brother? For sure. My man. All right, so the next one is November 13th, Cars and Core Tour, 11th Annual Collector's Gala. And I heard it's a 007 theme, so I can't wait for that. Got to get the tucks out, get ready, and rock and roll. December 4th, Tim Carter's NBC Atlantic Coast. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Should be a fantastic show. Um, it's down South Florida. Never been to this one. That's why I said we'll see how it goes. But Tim always puts on exhilarating events. They're usually first class all the way. He's got it always planned out. He's been doing this a long time. So I have full trust in Tim Gardner uh, rock and rolling on this. I can't wait, man. So big shout out to Tim Gardner. Um, Tim Gardner Productions and everybody putting that on. And us, 
especially. Fit Body Fusion also is a title sponsor of that as well. All right, so I think that's it, man. Um, I think I don't think we have anything else. If you guys have any questions, shoot them out now. If not, I'm going to let you guys go here in a second. Uh, I'm going to get rolling here and go home, eat some food, say what's up to my little man. So I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Um, thank you for the bad support. I'm going to be doing giveaways for you guys too as well. So, But you guys continuously on here. Big Irishman, Fitness DMK, Brian, um, Ange for sure, 100%. I appreciate all you guys, man. I really do. I thank you guys so much. So I love helping you guys out in your journey. If you guys have any questions, concerns, if you guys want to be a patient, call or text 727-389-3220. Remember, we can service you anywhere in the country except for Ohio and Idaho. And somebody got really mad at me. They actually wrote me this email like, you guys, you know, can't service Ohio. You guys, we used to service Ohio. So, you know, we had a lot of patients in Ohio. There's a lot, there was a lot of patients in Ohio. Um, and it just is what it is, man. I'm sorry. Like, so the guy writes an email. He's like, you know, I, I don't believe this and I really want to be a patient again. And, you know, I called some other Florida clinics and they said, there's no problem with service in Ohio. What are you guys talking about? You know, run them back. Like, Hey, listen, there's other places doing things that they shouldn't be. Right. That doesn't mean I'm going to do those things and I'm going to jeopardize type medical center or anybody that works here or my doctors or medical providers. It's not going to happen. So it is what it is. Trust me. I don't want to miss out on the patients. I want to help people in Ohio or Idaho. It just isn't the cards right now. Hopefully it will be in the future. So I appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Yeah, this is a little funny story for me to you. So I appreciate it. I'll see you guys. Tight lifestyle with Big Drew. Friday, 2 p.m. Don't miss it. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you then.